Namaskar. A very regrettable incident happened in Texas where 18 children and two teachers were gunned down by an 18 year old who himself was also killed. And before he went on this killing spree, he had also shot his grandmother who is in critical condition. This is something in rural Texas. But what is really sad about it is gun control bill has been talked about for so long in the United States, yet no one really fully solves this thing. Nobody has the gumption or the guts to completely ban owning weapons. Why is this? Well, for one thing, historically, America and Americans have owned guns, especially when they were settling the rural hinterlands of the United States. They needed protection to protect themselves against uh, wild animals as well as intruders when I mean, they were poaching in uh, uh, American Indians territory and the American Indians had bows and arrows and they needed to protect themselves so that's why they ended up having guns. So this is the history behind it. However, the Gun Control Act has been uh, mulled over and, and has not been acted on but now you have got so many incidents, Columbine, Sandy Hook and now this Rocks Elementary School. Now, let us try and understand how much of legislation has happened thus far. I don't know how many of you remember, Ronald Reagan became president in January 1981 and in March, March 20th to be exact, he was shot by John Hinckley. Not only him, his press secretary, James Brady, also got shot. And in fact, James Brady never recovered from that wound. And, and, and he, well, luckily for America, uh, Ronald Reagan fully recovered in 20 days and, and there's a famous line he says, he tells his wife, honey, I forgot to duck. So that, that's for the history. But Brady wasn't so lucky, but he did work on bringing a Brady bill, which got passed in 1993, that did put some curbs. What are the things that it did? It put a five day waiting period and you had to have background checks done. This was passed in 1993. However, it wasn't until 1998 that the National Instant Criminal Background System was put in place. And after that, it has been uh, fairly effective. 1.2 million people were prevented from buying guns, but there are still loopholes. For example, uh, there is one loophole I'm told in some states where you can do weapons purchases over a weekend in, in specific exhibitions and, and not much background checking is done. So people who want to get guns still get have access to this. You know, there are many people still trying to uh, pass laws, like for example, there is one more moving through the ranks trying to ban assault weapons. Whatever it is, unfortunately for the United States, the gun menace continues to happen and it is not seeing uh, any time, it doesn't, it's not going to go away anytime soon. Why? the gun control lobby exerts an enormous influence on the politicians. For example, you know how uh, Biden walked away from Afghanistan with what, $80 billion worth of arms and equipment? What happens? All these AK-47s or other weapons, assault weapons are going to get in the hands of one group. That group is going to try and use it against some other group and that some other group needs to defend itself Guess what it does? It goes and purchases arms. So even as the Democrats try to paint GOP or the Republicans as gun mongers, they themselves are not different. How can you explain what Biden did? So this is a pan politician problem. It's not going to go away anytime soon. What is regrettable is the loss of innocence. These kids, poor kids, what was their fault? What did they do to deserve this kind of a death? That is the thing that tugs at your heartstrings. And, and, you know, Biden can wax a lock one and say how hurt he is. But what the heck is he going to do about it? That is what is more important. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications. Namaskar.